Hey, everybody. On behalf of Extinco's team, I'd like to thank uh, the team at Flowverse and the First Mint, and the First Mint uh, to giving us the opportunity to come here to share about Extingos. Once again, uh, my name is Andrew. I am the Chief Visionary Officer at Extingos, and we are the world's first ASMR NFT production and marketplace company for artists and collectors. And to begin, uh, I'd like to talk about what's an ASMR. And what does it do to my brain? How do I get it? Good news. We've all experienced this sensation quite often. ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It's a reaction, it's a feeling, it's a simulation inside the brain that relaxes your mind, slow down your thoughts, and puts you in a state of flow. And it's almost as if time slows down and there's a deep satisfaction emerging with it. All right. Every person may experience ASMR quite differently, but it is generally safe to say it's like a brain massage. Yeah, it's a brain massage. It's a tingling sensation from the top of your head to your shoulders and sometimes to spine. To understand ASMR, I'm going to present you three examples of ASMR. And also to contrast it, I'm going to present you what is not an ASMR. So as I alternate between the two, I hope this contrast helps you better understand ASMR. You ready? So the first ASMR, it's a bubble pop, bubble wrap popping. And we're all so familiar with the sound, especially when you're unboxing this new gadget from, you ordered from Amazon Prime and uh, it feels good just popping it and it releases the stress and you just want to keep popping. It's like every pop releases a negative thought and just, just keep going. And whatever you do, it just, you just can't stop, right? And this is an ASMR, this feeling of just you're popping it away, you're easing in and just letting your mind go, all right? And now I'm gonna present you something that's not an ASMR. You may wanna look away. Ooh, a whiteboard scratch, yuck. Can't stand it. The scratching of the whiteboard, ooh. It reminds me of my least favorite grade school teacher. And boy, boy, this is not ASMR at all. Not ASMR at all, all right? And, uh, but hey, well, we're gonna move on to the next slide, which is an ASMR example. And this one is for all the Tatcha fans and followers out there. Clean swoosh, no rims, no board, nothing but net. Be it a two-pointer, a three-pointer, half court shot, that clean switch sound, mm, it was so good. This is one of the finest ASMR feel right here. But uh, sorry for this, uh, I'll show you another example that's not an ASMR and you probably not gonna like it, probably should close your eyes, but um, ooh, that alarm clock, totally hate it. You know, reminds me I need to get to work. So much anxiety. I just want to sleep more, but I can't. I can't. This alarm clock gets me up to work. I just need to get up and silence this phone and just move on. Right? This is totally not ASMR at all. Okay. And I'm going to move away from the slides and no more silly jokes. From this point onwards, it's ASMR all the way. So my next ASMR example is a epitome of ASMR. Some call it the perfect ASMR show to watch every day. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Bob Ross. I've always had such good memories listening to Bob Ross' voice, you know, teaching people how to paint. You know, painting is so much fun, you know, therapeutic too. And one of my favorite quotes of all time from Bob Ross is when uh, he already says, we don't make mistakes just happy little accidents. Best ASMR feel all time, right here. Every time he says it. Right. And thank you, Bob Ross, for the wonderful show. And up next, uh, we have a collage of very awesome ASMR artists. And I can honestly say, ASMR is such a wonderful world. So many different, it comes with so many varieties, everybody trying their own takes. 
And if you look closely, you'll see Cardi B doing her whispers, even uh, Jessica Alba teaching her people how to do makeup with a whispery voice. And of course, you know, that girl, that's hot, Paris Hilton, all right? Okay, I'm here to inform you that ASMR is the biggest and fastest growing YouTube trend. The, the term was only coined in 2010 by Jennifer Allen, and uh, it's growing like 200% a year. It's probably one of those trends you've never heard of, right? But in a few more years, it's going to be everywhere. It's just so good. It comes with so many varieties to choose from. All right. By now, we can all agree that our brain needs more ASMR. You know, we can use it every day to reduce stress, you know, feel relaxed, you know, help self or sleep. And sometimes, you know, when I'm bored, I enjoy some ASMR, you know, and just it helps me deal with emotional, difficult, stressful moments of life. And that means that, um, you know, with more ASMR each day, it just, I just feel more satisfying. You know, it, it feels really good. It feels really good. And the big question, okay, becomes like, why do we need NFTs for ASMR? Like, I mean, I can just go on YouTube and, you know, watch a two hour video and get all ASMR I want, right? The thing is, it comes down to your understanding of what ASMR NFT is uh, at a singles uh, we've defined uh, we've put a constraints to what is morality. It is a 60 second audio visual loop that goes on and on and on and in your wallet, right? And it's on the blockchain, right? And, but the thing is like, uh, you may say, hey, Andrew, you know, you didn't answer my question. Like, you know, why do we need, why do we need the NFT part? Okay, let's take a step back. I'm gonna go through some NFT primer knowledge. Uh, allow me to remind you what an NFT is. NFTs are digital certificates that verifies you are the rightful owner of this digital content. Right? To some extent, it's like a digital deed uh, to digital content, or even the easiest way to say it right here is uh, think about verified Twitter accounts. Right? NFTs are verified JPEG. They're verified by the original artists, by the community that supports the artists, and by the node operators verifying the transaction on the blockchain, okay? And as you can see, the most amazing thing about NFTs is that it's recorded on the blockchain. You know, on a transparent ledger, you can go up on the flow scan to check to verify whether it's scarce, it's unique, sometimes one of a kind. And when you couple them with marketplace and smart contracts, the artist can get paid immediately and for, and for at a single, the artist gets paid for primary sell, instant, and uh, for every subsequent secondary sell, they get a commission on it too. And this is incredible. You know, just like the first time ever a human to NFTs uh, represent ownership of digital content, all right? And, uh, and the artwork's provenance is on chain. You know, let me, and let, let, me, let me segue this conversation a little bit now. Like, let's gonna go talk to ASMR space and maybe, you know, let's address this big problematic elephant in the room that starts making question why NFTs are important, you know? And that, that the big evil is uh, YouTube. Uh, I mean, since the rise of YouTube, free content is not everywhere. <sighs> Many artists have lost their revenue sources because of YouTube. They can't sell CDs, DVDs, or tapes. It's all gone, you know? Ever since it came about with cl cloud music, making it even worse. It's, 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 you know, the world we live in today, we're spoiled with free content, you know. Uh, but worse yet, you know, like YouTube pays artists an average of $4 per CPM. And it can go even as low as $2. But what that means is like for every thousand views, the artist gets paid $4, all right. And um, the worst thing is the moment the artist stops making videos on YouTube, the, the, the newsfeed algorithm punishes them, right? And they punish them by sending less traffic, by featuring them less on newsfeed. And those who are really grinding it just on this rat race every single day, it's a big no-no, you know? This is exactly why ASL space is not called industry yet. 
right? Because of ASMR YouTube videos, YouTubers rely on heavily on YouTube ads and CPMs and as a major revenue source, it can't never mature as a into an industry. But um, we're here to identify a few things. So what's missing into the ASMR space, right? Uh, there's no not much economies of scale because this YouTube is just the only way they get paid, you know. And distribution channel, it's only YouTube. YouTube is like everybody's dependent on YouTube and YouTube can't feed everyone, you know, and most important of all, uh, if you take a deeper look, uh, you know, supplier power is quite low uh, because um, the artists don't get paid. They can't invest in better equipments. They can't advertise themselves, market themselves. And um, it's mainly based on um, this one cell that says complicated, right? So when the customer power is very complicated because the whole revenue stream is dependent on the amount of views the, the artist gets. And um, in order to get more views, it, it, you're in a constant rat race of producing at least one video a week, otherwise they fall behind the ladder, right? And there's only so many views a day and we have like what Netflix and all sorts of TikTok competing for views in the internet. I mean, it's just not fair, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, this is a evil spiral. But on the better side, if you look at NFT, wow, it's like, you know, NFT has been blowing so fast. Uh, last December, the market cap was around uh, 100 million. And now we're looking at 10 billion. It's just growing super fast. And what I'm trying to get here is that we're seeing a perfect marriage of ASMR and NFT. And I'm, I'm seeing a very, 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 very big opportunity up and coming. At Extingos, we identify this perfect intersection. Uh, so because like uh, ASMR has such a therapeutic benefits, you can see it, you know, you can you can hear it and you can touch it. And uh, maybe one day ASMR NFTs are gonna be the new digital therapeutics for everyone. And, uh, and we're calling this sensation as a collectible, right? You're one tap away from giving your brain the best massage ever. Okay. And the good thing is for those who are environmentally friendly, for those who are concerned about the environment with all the proof of work uh, consensus, all the mining involved, the mining hash rate, electricity involved with POW, Extingos is built on flow, right? It is super eco-friendly it's super low on transaction fees and it's blazing fast. It's amazing. So, and I'm here to present you some ASMR NFTs uh, made by Stingles. So I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that it's me, Lev. I just wanted to let you know that you're awesome, you're amazing, and you're a beautiful human. Welcome to Extingos, uh, your portal to for this. We are the premier marketplace for ASMR things, which you can collect, sell, and trade. And we have an upcoming drop on this Thursday uh, with ASMR Japan. It's a barber cut style. I think you'll really like it. It's an, uh, one of a kind auction. Uh, 
And uh, Victor has been great, great time working with artists. Um, it's been a blessing here. And uh, final news, uh, good news here. We have a, we have a, a mystery pack uh, to be gifting to our community members and welcome to be part of the Singles family. I look forward to seeing you in the Discord and uh, let's chat ASMR. Thank you.